What's up guys? Welcome back to the Combo Glowdown. Just gonna play some music real quick. Yeah. I never play music in any of my videos. I know other people do and I decided that I wanted to as well and copy. Um doing something a little different in this video, as you guys can tell. Music and I have this huge eye patch on. Well, this is my uh, giving you guys a sneak peek into uh, my uh, Deathstroke cosplay I'm going to be doing at Tampa Comic Con next week. Um, although right now it's a lot less of Deathstroke and a lot more uh, Slick Rick. Uh, you know, that's kind of what I'm doing right now, Slick Rick instead of a Slade Wilson. Um, but I'll show you guys this, might as well, since I'm already doing the Deathstroke thing. Right on my bed post, I keep this. Yeah, it's pretty real. Um, and it's pretty awesome. Um, and this is what I'm going to be bringing with me as my sword for Deathstroke. Because this is what they use in the show Arrow. So, uh, <coughs> sorry guys, I got like a cough, um, and it's been bothering me lately. So, yeah, so, there's that sword, um, but time for what I'm actually here for, since I've show, uh, shared with you guys what I need to share with you, um, I actually just thought about this now, I better take off this song, seeing as how I don't want to get taken off of this video taken down so I better find another song quick um, let's go with this song I don't want to get my video taken down and yeah anyways um show you guys what I'm here for and that's to review my books for this week I actually read them yesterday, just didn't do my review. And, um, <coughs> again, sorry about the cough. Um, I did not read Batman 33, and I have a variant cover to it. Um, I didn't read this yet, because I'm gonna be, I'm, I've started reading all of Zero Year over again. Started as in I've only read the first issue of Zero Year in my quest to read it over again. Um, but I heard that issue 33 is not any faster, picks up any pace, so I'm really not even looking forward to it, which is sad since I have the issues and this was the plan the whole time was to reread it and see how it works together. And if it turns out to not work out well together, it's gonna really freaking suck. Um, but anyway, so instead, I've got four books I'm going to be reviewing, and as usual, I review my books uh, least like to pick the week. Um, pretty all right week of books, um, and we'll just get started with the uh, first book. Uh, this is the Batman Detective Comics 27 special for the 75th annual Batman deal uh the first story in here is the actual detective comics 27 first appearance of batman <coughs> same art and everything the bob kane bill finger story um and if you haven't read that before uh it is a good read really um a little cheesy but again you know take into account the time um and it's just cool to see the actual first issue of Batman. I've read it before on Comixology, but it's cool to have the issue in your hand, even though it's not the actual issue. Uh, the second story in this is just a modern day telling from the uh, perspective of Bruce Wayne Batman of that same Bill Finger, Bob Kane story. And the third story is a Scott Snyder, Sean Murphy story where apparently the original Batman, Bruce Wayne, 
as he got older, decided to start cloning himself uh, and uh, is making Batmans or Batmen for like every generation. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, just really whatever story. I mean, the good stories, but, uh, you know, they don't really mean anything. So, let's just take it as, uh, I mean, the issue's free. So, you know, there's no real complaining. So, there's that that special issue. <coughs> um, next book I have Amazing Spider-Man issue number four. Um, a lot and a little happen in this book. Um, we we get a lot of interaction between Spider-Man and the girl who I believe her name was Cindy Moon. Can't remember now. But a lot of action between them, and we find out why she's uh, been locked up and kept away from the outside life, and her connection to Peter Parker and things like that. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Um, yeah, so we find out a little bit about her, and we see them to interact. And um, then this ends with a weird kind of ending, and uh, I won't spoil it, but again, a lot and a little happened in this book, so. There's Amazing Spider-Man issue number four. <coughs> um, next issue here is Deadpool 32, and actually a lot better than I was expecting. Not a complete turnaround yet for the book. To back to the territory where I had liked it, where it was just great, you know, pick of the week kind of stuff. But this issue definitely turned it around a little bit um, in shining more of a light on Deadpool and his kind of seriousness about finding Ellie and or his his daughter and protecting her, and they have interaction with each other, and uh, he's kind of like protecting her in this issue which is cool to see them together um and uh yeah uh because Deadpool kind of ditches Sheikla and Dazzler um so we see a lot of Deadpool and we see a lot of Deadpool being by himself again or kind of being the star and not being the co-star to the book um and that's what makes for the better Deadpool stories is to put Deadpool in the forefront unless you're gonna get a good supporting cast um, he had a good supporting cast before with Agent Preston in his mind and um, you know Benjamin Franklin's ghost and Michael and when they left uh, it was kind of just Deadpool and Preston and then in the good, bad, the ugly, you know, Wolverine and Captain America. Uh, so he had good cast, good secondary characters in his book until he got married. And then, you know, it's been kind of flat. So, but this issue shows a turnaround, shows a kind of book being picked up. And uh, so now I'm getting not excited, but I'm more excited than I had been. So that's Deadpool 32. <coughs> and then finally, my uh, pick of the week, no doubt, Daredevil issue number six. Also my uh, favorite cover. Um, this book is the original Sin tie-in for Daredevil. And... Uh, pretty much, Dare, uh, Matt realizes that his his father, who he holds in such high regard, which is why he is Daredevil in the first place, <coughs> he finds out that his father uh, used to beat his mom when he was a baby, and that's why his parents aren't together, and um, and he he never asked any questions about it, and nobody ever said anything about it. And it took the watcher's eye exploding in his face for him to realize that his dad wasn't the best dude. And uh, there was some great 
images with uh, <coughs> Matt rubbing dirt on his father's grave, where it says uh, Jack Murdoch, he was a good man. He rubs dirt over the he was a good man part, and so just great stuff. And then um, come to find out. Uh, Matt tries to go looking for answers about it, and then he finds out that his mom is in jail, recently put in jail, and it's like, oh my god, you know, what's going on? And then things start to go crazy, taking crazy turns, and Daredevil, new arc coming, Daredevil is an awesome book, there's gonna be some, like, Wakandan stuff, um, I'm just so excited for what Mark Waid's throwing in Daredevil, uh, in the book, in the Daredevil book, and, um, it's always great, it's always great stuff, so, if you don't pick up Daredevil, I don't know what you're doing, I've been recommending it for months, maybe even a year, just buy it already, just buy it, it's one of the Marvel books that actually deserves its $3.99 price tag, so anyways, that's it for my review. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm Wellington signing off for the comic book lowdown. See you guys next time.